Hello YouTube, uh, here we are with my mail detecting year end wrap up. I know it's a bit early but we're expecting like a half a foot of snow tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> but here we are with my totals from my first full year mail detecting with my Cabela's treasure hunter. Um, so. With my clad, I almost got $60 in change, uh, $59.70 as you can see. Uh, the oldest coin I've dug is a 1913 wheat penny. Uh, I ended up digging up 29 wheat pennies this year. I uh, got 16 coins that weren't U.S., so foreign coins. Uh, my... Today's date is, what, the 25th of November, 2014, and I started March 27th, 2014, so this was me trying to get out as much as I could, but there was a lot of different events that happened. Um, sorry I couldn't make videos of all the hunts or anything like that, especially from like July 4th on is when I started making some good finds. Uh... It was just some family incidences that came up. I don't know if I mentioned it in previous videos. But I was also having GoPro issues um, with software updates. But, <clears throat> um, so I found three, well actually four items that weren't silver, that weren't rings or anything. Didn't update that. Uh, I found one gold ring. I remember sharing that with everyone uh i did sell it uh, it was pretty good price uh, i did find one musket ball over at my cousin's house i got a total of eight rings including the one gold i did find a silver dime i a week later i finally got my gopro working so i missed getting that on video and i got one war nickel that i showed you guys I think I even said that I was starting to tear up or something. And I found two silver rings. And the second one was... I just didn't have my GoPro with me when I found it. So, that's a roughly total of what I found. I found a lot of junk on top of that. So, with the uh, coins here. Uh, the two coins that were um, Cayman Islands... I don't know if you can see that with the shine or not. It's got Queen Elizabeth on it. And on the back it has a bird with a tree or a branch or something like that. And the other one is a Dominican Republic scent with a palm tree on one side. And then a shield with something on it on the other. So those are found down in mass. Uh, here are my tokens. Uh, I found all these over at the uh, ball field where I found my gold ring. Uh, just baseball player one. Says no cash value on the back. Pretty tarnished. Another one. This is actually a New Hampshire toll token. When we actually had these in circulation. Uh... They stopped this when we got Easy Pass in 2006, I want to say. 2005, they stopped handing these out. So, I still find them quite often around here anyways. Uh, this is a Chuck E. Cheese token. We have a Chuck E. Cheese next town over. Very common. Find them in rolls of quarters even. And then here's a another no cash value token, and I like this one because it has like an eagle with holding a oak leaves or something like that, with a bunch of stars. That's pretty good. And then on to the next foreign, uh, all my Canadian, which is the rest of them. Uh, that one, uh, twenty-five or quarter from Canada, nineteen seventy-five. It's in pretty good shape. So, 
nice shine to it for being that old. And then the rest are pennies. The oldest one was in 1969. So they're actually all in pretty good shape. Uh, from my understanding, Canada doesn't make pennies anymore. They stopped that a few years ago. Uh, and then here's all my wheat cents. Uh, ranging all the way from the last year they were made all the way up to 1913. Which is this one. This one I found in a, that Portsmouth Park. Uh, really, sh it was like my second target of that video. And then here I have a... Uh, 1919 wheat scent uh, it was pretty crusty I started cleaning and then as soon as I could read the date I stopped I didn't touch it anymore uh, it's really hard to tell but uh, that's that uh, I don't believe I got any S's I got a few D's so I got what 29 wheat cents total I don't I think I might be missing one or two from here and then uh, these two pennies I just kept even though they're memorials. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat how they got hit by the lawnmower and they're bent up. Uh, this coin here is the only dollar presidential coin or even dollar coin I dug up this year. Uh, it's pretty tarnished hard to make out. I think it was James on it. And the Statue of Liberty on the back here. Uh, just a few odds and ends here that I found. Uh, <clears throat> obviously a USB port. <laughs> Pretty dirty. Not even going to try to put it into the computer to see what's on it. <clears throat> hmm. I didn't think I was going to get any dog tags but I ended up finding two. So, I got this one right downtown in my park. And then this one, I think it's a rabies vaccine. Yeah, from 1997 in Rochester, New Hampshire. Hmm. I don't remember where I found that. Uh, actually, I found that in Rochester. <clears throat> Man, what's going on with my voice? Uh, just an owl pendant. Found that down in Mass. Found this little keychain charm. That's pewter down in Mass. Found this old copper bell thing. I don't know what it is. Still, I think it was just one of those things that you, the uh, old doorbell rings that you spin. It was in uh, the park downtown where a factory used to be. Uh, like I said, where the oldest settlement in New Hampshire, so uh, now I'll pan back over here to the rings I found. Uh, this was my very first ring I found in that park in Mass. Uh, found this in Dover. This one was with that Portsmouth hunt that I found from the geocache. Dover, Dover, silver ring in Dover. Um, this silver ring I actually made when I was at Spalding, and it's supposed to represent the uh, silver ring I found at Spalding that I gave away to a lady at Dover Park who liked it, and it fit her, so, again, yeah. Uh, here we are. This, um, these three items, three silver items I actually found at the elementary school here in Dover that I went to for fourth grade, and then I went to middle school. Uh, this was at the basketball park. Uh, it says St. Christopher Protect Me and it says Sterling on the back. Um, this is stamp 925. It's a heart with mom. And then this was just a silver loop earring. And then if you see there, that's where the uh, stud was for the ear. That broke off. But I did get it tested and it is silver. And then I found this. Actually... I was walking around somewhere and I just happened to eyeball it in the parking lot. And it's stamped 925 on the ear loop piece. Written. 
right on this little your stud part and then uh here are my two coins the war nickel that you guys all saw and then here's my 1964 rosie that i found in the ballpark where i found probably about 100 feet away from the gold ring i found earlier in the season it's not a d but my first rosie i did strike it right there in the corner you can see that uh, no mint mark, but it was my first 90, and I was pretty, pretty happy about that. I found it, oh, it was probably 8 inches down. I was shocked to find it in the park. That is from the 80s, so. <clears throat> but I was getting a lot of deep stuff that day. I got a couple of wheats about 5, 6 inches down as well. So, uh, with this, uh... This is my year-end wrap-up. Uh, my detector did pay for itself from that um, gold ring I pawned. I got 140 for it, um, but the detector was only 130 after being on sale. And then with 60, pretty much 60 dollars in clad, I ended up with 20 extra bucks after batteries. So, in digging tool. So not a bad year at all. Um, so for those of you who are out there and you're wondering, oh, I want to get into metal detecting, but it's too expensive. Well, mine paid for itself within a year, and I put 20 bucks in my pocket. So, and now I am saving up for a new detector. It's probably going to be the Technetics. Euro a Eurotech Pro. Um, I really like the. I'm really shopping around on, on a form, and everyone's helping me out with that. Because uh, the reason why I like it is it seems to be like the Mind Labs, with the sound and capabilities and the videos I've seen. It's very similar to the Mind Labs, but at a much cheaper price, probably about two hundred and fifty dollars. 250 to 300 dollar range is what I'm looking at. Uh, I'm already at 100, so I'm pretty much like a third of the way there. But it has good iron discrimination. It has like an iron tone, so I can check to see if it's iron. So, <clears throat> and it comes with a decoil, which is kind of what I was looking for. I wasn't able to find one for my current metal detector, but I'm keeping it. So if I have a friend or something like that who wants to come out with me now, I can be like, hey, here's a detector. It's good. I got mine. Let's go at it. Um, are you setting up a list of places for next year to detect? Um, I already have a permission list started. And I'll just refresh with that uh, as soon as the season starts next year. As soon as the snow melts. I'll be contacting them again just to verify that it's still okay. Um, there's still a park in Portsmouth that I want to hit up. Because um, it is part of the historical area of the town in Portsmouth. So I still just want to make sure that I get full verification before I start hunting it and get slapped a fine or a ticket or actually end up in jail for destruction of uh historical property <laughs> so even though it is public property i just want to make sure that it is fully safe and taken care of so here it is with my metal detecting year and wrap up uh stay tuned for future videos with my silver stacking if you saw my last video and also a possible contest yes contest don't know when it will be but stay tuned for that. Alright. Well, good luck, happy hunting, and don't forget to say thank you and ask for permissions, even if you get denied. Alright. Happy hunting.